Hello. a juicy story time for you guys today if y'all hear like all these cars and all this other stuff the windows open and i'm not closing it or else i'm gonna suffocate in this room so y'all are just gonna have to deal with it i'm so sorry but i put a poll on my instagram story and i was like okay y'all which story would y'all want to hear first and i gave them two options i put I spoke to the devil or a 12 year old scammed my business <laughs> and you guys just a disclaimer <laughs> both of these stories are true like I am not the type of person who just like puts stuff for clickbait because I know I get angry like does anybody else do that when like YouTube couples they're like we broke up da 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 and they didn't even break up I'm like girl why would you put that as a title you know what I mean like I get it if they put that and it was like a prank a prank on each other they broke up but like they didn't even break up like they just wanted the views so i only put juicy titles if it's true or if it has a little bit to do with the video as a whole you know what i mean like perfect example go look at my story time playlist i'm gonna put i'm gonna put one both of the story times in the comment section below i mean in the description i have one story time worst obgyn ever and y'all can vouch that was not a that was not clickbait and then other story time i lost ten thousand dollars and it's true ten thousand dollars came out of my bank account so <laughs> go watch that anyways 340 people which is 57 percent wanted the 12 year old scam my business and only 43 percent aka 255 people wanted the story time of how i spoke to the devil uh i still probably will do the other story time of how i spoke to the devil but just not today because the 12 year old won and yeah so let's just get right into it and also another disclaimer i will not be disclosing the 12 year old's name uh email username none of that information because number one it's a minor allegedly allegedly and number two even if they weren't a minor i just don't like putting names and their personal information in my story time so i don't want them to go get harassed anything like that so tell me why there was a customer all right uh they started ordering for me and i noticed them in my lives a lot if you're new here um i go on tiktok live for my business literally all the time and i noticed their name pop up eventually you start to know like the loyal customers and they wouldn't order anything crazy it would be like a keychain here two keychains here a stun gun here um whatever so i was like okay cool 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 these orders started happening in august and because they weren't big orders there was no red flag waved in shopify and in my head you know what i mean so it was just like okay like that happens all the time people find me they order and then i started offering subscriptions on my tiktok so when you go on tiktok live you have subscribers and they get this little cute little emoji that says fab so i know they're a subscriber they get to shop early they get first dibs things like that so this person was a subscriber so i'm like okay like period they're loyal until they would keep spamming my lives like i got attacked 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 i love your keychains i love your keychains i love your keychains which like i did appreciate but i was like that's just so weird like why do they keep spamming and people were getting angry like people in the chat were like like bro like why are you spamming like we can't even read the other comments like whatever and then one of my mods muted him right even though he was a subscriber like you you gotta go whatever after live i checked my comment section and he spammed my comment section with the same thing i got attacked i got attacked i got attacked i got attacked and i didn't realize he actually sent me an email before the live which i'm gonna read word for word he said and this is a he because it I ended up finding out it was a he so this is the story about me using your midnight self-defense keychain so i was walking to my car in a parking lot and a random man came and tried to grab my purse so i had my midnight self-defense keychain on my wrist and my pepper sprayed him and then i used my coupon and stabbed him that is my story i hope you get it and when i got that story i didn't think anything of it because i get story times all the time you guys like i feel like it's kind of hard to believe but it's it's the truth y'all i get so many dms so many emails of people like hey girl like i was in a unsafe situation last night and i had to whip out my keychain to help me feel better and they like to tell me these stories so then i could proceed and tell you guys so it just urges you like girl you need some safety on you um 
they also just like me knowing that my product helped them and it literally like helps me sleep at night knowing that my products are helping y'all but that's besides the point so then after he's spamming my all my comment section with the same comments one of my customers responded it was like you're a little kid you shouldn't even be buying these products i'm like what and somebody else responded it was like a self-defense boutique so he was like that's my cousin he's 18 he's not a little kid i'm like who is this safety business like arguing in my comment section so i go look at the safety business why is it all of my keychains all my keychains like at first i couldn't tell they were mine until i saw this one keychain it was my handmade by grandma falling for you like i can find my grandma's wristlets from a mile away because number one no other safety businesses have some of the fabrics i have and their grandmas aren't making it so i can just tell like that's my grandma's work so i'm like oh my god like this person is copying my designs until i look closer it's the little boy he's 12 years old okay it's the little boy he has one page where he spams my my emails my comment section my lives he's a subscriber he shops for me and he made a second page selling the keychains and the stun guns and the crazy part it wasn't even just my keychains and stun guns because some of those keychains i didn't recognize so i was like oh my god he is buying from multiple self-defense businesses and pretending to scam people or is he scamming people i couldn't tell there was no website in the description but like what if people are dming him like hey i would really like that falling for you keychain and he's taking their money and i knew 100 percent he was scamming because as i'm still scrolling I see a video with him using my pink fabulous boxes. Put all this in a box and this was a $450 order. I got the keychains and now I just have to put that. And these boxes are the boxes I'm talking about in my story time where I got scammed out of $10,000. And it says, hello, fabulous. Spelt fabulous boutique like my business name. So I'm like, there is no way. And the worst part, is that he is exposing his own address so like he'll be like let's pack an order and he'll show the packing slip and number one the packing slip is a tiktok shop packing slip so he ordered from somebody's tiktok shop and it's showing his address it's showing his address and he thinks that people aren't gonna know because he's pretending to pack an order i'm like oh my lord and you could tell it wasn't his it wasn't his packing slip because the page doesn't have a tiktok shop like you can't pack a TikTok shop order without a TikTok shop. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, what? What? Like, a little kid has been buying for me? So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna block him. Like, I just blocked both of the pages. Like, I'm not gonna argue with a little boy. Like, he should not be on the internet, let alone buying pepper sprays and stun guns. Let alone scamming people so i'm like okay like block whatever didn't think anything of it until i get an email claiming to be his mom so this email she says please contact me because of an order from blink did he use a credit card to pay for his stuff can you please call me at and then she gave me her phone number he's 12 years old and not allowed so at first i was like you know what like maybe the little kid's a thief you know what i mean like some little kids they go through that phase where they're thieves like I'm, I'm not gonna lie my brother went through that phase he wasn't stealing on the internet but he would steal like little things from target um he was just going through a phase you know so i was like okay like maybe this little kid's going through a phase whatever so i email the mom back and i'm like um okay like so sorry um we didn't realize that he was a minor and he will no longer be able to order don't worry about it two minutes after the mom i put quotes on mom because once you hear more of the story time who knows if it's really the mom i get an email from the little boy and he says hey girl so i think i want you to tell my mom that it was a giveaway because she wants me to save my money so i can go out of town that's all i want to tell you because she's the type of mom that would take my credit card if she has to she did it before but yeah thank you Keep in mind, you guys, I'm reading these screenshots word for word. So. So then I'm like, 
is he really 12? Is, I mean, the way he was typing, it sounded like a little kid. I'm like, was that really his mom? Or is he pretending to be mom and then emailing me multiple times? And I was telling this story time on live and somebody was like, why does this sound like an episode of Catfish? Tell me it doesn't sound like an episode of Catfish, y'all. And like, y'all know how they'll be like, oh, I'm so in love. Um, and I fell in love with Chris Brown. And Chris Brown has been messaging me. And Neve is like, oh, have you ever FaceTimed Chris Brown? No, his camera's broken. And Neve is like, so you're telling me that Chris Brown, the millionaire, his camera's broken. He can't FaceTime you. And the girl's like, yeah, yeah, it's Chris Brown. And then you go and you find out it's like a 35-year-old creepy guy. Like, y'all know those Catfish episodes. So that's why I'm like, oh my God, like, is this like a little kid? Or is it like just a creepy person? Like, y'all know those creepy people who have no lives and they just like, do weird stuff on the internet y'all like y'all know exactly what I'm talking about so now at this point i'm like oh my god like so i respond i was like no we will not lie and we will not send you any orders you are now banned from ordering no response cool didn't think anything of it because like i said at this point he's blocked from my account his account the fake business account and i can't technically block anybody from ordering so like i use shopify so let's say we're gonna use Alyssa because that's obviously my name. Let's say Alyssa was a scammer and she ordered for me. And I know she's a scammer. I can't prevent her from ordering, but I can put in a note. So every time she orders and I go click on her order, it'll say, she's a scammer, cancel all orders, whatever I want the note to say. So that's what I did for this person. I was like, okay, so now I know this name pops up. Don't pack the order, just cancel it immediately. This was back in September. So now it's October and I get an order from the kid again. I recognize the name immediately. Like forget the note, the name is just really unique and I just remembered it. So I was like, yeah, canceled, you're done immediately. So I just put, so usually when you're canceling orders, you can click a reason. So Shopify would be like, oh, what's the reason? So it could tell the customer, I put fraud, fraudulent. So that way when, the person, I'm just gonna say kid, cause allegedly he's 12 years old. So when the 12 year old gets the email back, it'll say your order got canceled because it is fraudulent, right? So then I get an email again from his mom. But this time it's not from the same email that the mom sent me in the first place. So it's from the little kid's email. I hope that makes sense. So like if his mom's email was mom123 at gmail.com and the little kid's email was littlekid at gmail.com, it's littlekid at gmail.com saying, oh, this is his mom. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope y'all get what I'm saying because I, I can't say the email for like privacy reasons. But again, Blank is only 12 years old. He has been using his father's credit card without him knowing. Please block him from your page. My name is Blank. Proceeds to give me her whole address and her phone number. You can call me. Please don't send, any, send anything to my address. So that's when the red flags start waving. So like when she gave me her phone number the first time, I didn't think it was weird because I have older customers and they're usually the ones who are like, call me. I don't know how to use email. Or they're like, I don't want to email a robot. I want to talk to a real person. I'm like, ma'am, you are talking to a real person. We do not do phone. We do not do phone calls. Just an FYI. We do not do phone calls. If you give me your number, I'm not calling it. I'm not texting the calling. That has nothing to do with me. Um, we email only, okay? <laughs> so that's why I was like, why would the mom put her whole address in the email? Like if I had said, oh, what's the what's the address? We don't ship it to like I didn't even I, I didn't even say anything. She just said, here is my address. Don't ship it here. And then my second thought was, why do you not have your 12 year old under control? What? Is that not crazy? Like if I was 12 years old and I stole my mom or dad's credit card, they're gonna, they're gonna whoop my culo. Like they're gonna, it, right? So this clearly isn't the first time, if, if this is a real story, if it really is a 12 year old, this isn't the first time he stole your credit card, okay? He's also using your credit card to buy pepper sprays and stun guns, which are illegal because he's underage. And he's continuously doing it. He placed seven orders with me. You're telling me it's my job to block him and have him, like obviously I did, cause I can't sell to minor. But like, why are you leaving it up to me? Why aren't you getting your kid under control? Like, am I, please let me know in the comment section. Am I crazy and what would you do? 
what would you do if you were in this situation? All right, then again, I'm telling this story in a live, right? Cause I didn't think I was gonna make a YouTube video about it. I was just like, oh, like I thought it would be a story to tell on live, tell on TikTok, didn't think anything of it. Until one of my uh, followers, her name's Misty, shout out to Misty, hey girl. Uh, she was like, oh my God, this story sounds so familiar. I'm gonna message you and show you a screenshot and I was like okay Misty sent me an email and it's basically word for word the same email I was sent he's only 12 years old he shouldn't be buying and it's just like is this a little kid buying from all these different businesses pretending to be a mom is it a grown adult I don't know so I'm like what the heck so if this is happening to me and one other person it's definitely happened to other people because he had so many keychains so many stun guns and I would say at least half of them weren't for my were from my business so then at this point I was like okay I my gut feeling is that it's a 12 year old kid pretending to be him pretending to be a mom and and he's just going crazy with this credit card so I was like let me just like him a little bit right also I should have mentioned to begin with uh, he has spent so I, like I said seven orders he has spent three hundred and sixty seven dollars in my shop that's almost four hundred dollars so you're telling me that the mom didn't notice the almost four hundred dollars missing like girl like let's get it together like if my 12 year old is doing that it's a wrap for them it's a wrap but anyways I sent an email to the mom, right? Even though it was like littleboy at gmail.com, right? That's the that's the fake email I'm giving you. It's a little boy's email. I proceed to say, hello, it has come to our attention that your son is selling our keychains as his own on TikTok, using our packaging and even exposing his own address as they are still on the shipping label of the packages. We do not want to have to take legal action. We hope you can get this under control as it is a minor. So Technically, I could get my lawyer involved because like if somebody's buying my stuff and selling it as their own, even though it has like the fabulous boutique tag, like they're my designs, they're my pictures, they're my everything, but I'm not going to do that. Like it's a little kid, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a 12 year old, I'm not going to do that. But um, I just want to scare him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know how little kids, like if they're being bad, Omegle, for example, when little kids would be bad on Omegle, like because me and my friends and <laughs> go we'll be like oh, we're gonna tell your parents little kids will be like oh my god and press end so i was like okay like easy it's so easy to scare a little kid and i should scare him because clearly the parents aren't doing anything like how do you not know that your little 12 year olds on tiktok using your credit card so i was like all right i'm gonna just scare him and i haven't heard anything since i heard nothing back so hopefully i scared him i uh, haven't gotten any orders since uh we'll see if there are any further updates, I will post the updates on TikTok or maybe I'll put it in the comment section. I don't know because I don't think there will be more updates to do a part two. You know what I mean? But if you have ever gone through anything like this or if you're a parent and your 12 year old is doing this, please let me know what you would do in the comment section because this, like how is a little 12 year old boy running this TikTok thing? You know what I mean? But anyways. If y'all want more story times, I have story times for days, especially when it comes to my business and when it comes to scammers, let me know in the comment section. Bye.